Hello everyone. Today we can learn about the way of money the Stretia Nicolai, as known as bird of paradise plants, which have been large or whose leaves have been damaged. Also, the method presented today can be applied for Stretia reginae. <music> This is a damaged bird of paradise. At first, dripping leaves can be taken away. These beautiful leaves are also cut off since these are already dripped, which will not be recovered. The white part on this leaf due to chloride of lime can be easily wiped out, which doesn't matter. I wouldn't recommend tying up these dripped leaves as some people are doing as this doesn't seem to be beautiful. Therefore, such plants are subject to the revival procedure by cutting the leaves at the growth phase from spring to summer and resulting that the appearance looks like the one just bought from the shop. Irrespective of all leaves will be taken off so that the energy to make new rubs could be saved, not to be distributed to maintain such old leaves. It's important to grow up new rubs by doing so, whilst some people might feel bad with the plant. Wizard part would also be removed to improve the appearance of the plant. You can do that at the bottom part of the plant, while this revival process can be generally performed from spring to summer. Please be careful that cutting edge could be rotten in the rainy season. We can pick up scale insects from the broad of paradise plants by hands if any. This thick leaf in a stack is also taken away. As there are many insects at the bottom, insect spray treatment with the cutting edge would be recommended. If the plant gets healthy by continuously removing damaged leaves, then we will not find any insects. Having that said, removing insects after cutting leaves off is very important. This is another case example for reviving broad of paradise plants. This plant was returned to me since the shop where the plant is rented was unfortunately bankrupt due to lockdown against COVID-19. Damaged and or cracked leaves will be taken away. Dripped leaves are also removed even if they don't contain any cracks, which recovery cannot be expected. As the cutting edge doesn't look good, we can cut it at the bottom part. We suppose that this stem shouldn't be cut off because new rubs come out there, whilst my experience tells this doesn't matter. It may take time for new rubs to be generated after cutting the stem at the bottom, although the plant becomes great in the end, rather after leaving the strange shaped stem. A beautiful appearance of such an indoor plant for room decoration should be important. As a previous case, we don't see any issue to cut all the leaves for the revival of broad or paradise plants. Despite we can leave one leaf, per one segment would be optimal. I will aim for the revival by leaving the leaves as they are. After that, the plant can be out from spring to summer if you want to make leaf stalks condensed with leaves. After cutting leaves, the plant is placed with sunshine. These leaves currently left will be withered due to sunburn. The old leaves will be removed when new rubs are coming out. Generation of new rubs can be facilitated when the plant is exposed to sunshine. Especially for bird of paradise, new rubs come with exposure to sunshine will become strong and healthy with short stems. 
Less frequent watering should be intended until when new leaves come out during the revival process. I wouldn't water intentionally except for raining occasions. Of note, please be careful for windy days when the plant is managed outside, since leaves can be cracked by a strong wind. The plant will be back inside in case of typhoon or strongly windy days to avoid making cracks in the beautiful leaves. New Labs grows up to 30 to 40 percent of the complete maturation stage. The plant can be moved to such a place with sunshade. Spontaneously, there is a bird of paradise plant with a revival treatment here. Leaves get some burnt while a new rub is already coming. And this is in the next step that revival process is already ongoing in the sunshade. You can see beautiful new leaves as such. The damaged old leaves are removed now because I haven't done yet. I will cut again leaves which are newly regenerated with cracks. The revival will be repeated until leaves are replaced with beautiful ones. This is the condition of the plants in two months after the revival treatment. Old and sunburned leaves are now removed. Leaves which were grown up with direct sunshine get solid. The color of the leaves is slightly dim green due to the sunshine. I suppose that is the original color of this plant's leaf, and the color of the leaves become deep green when the plant is located in sunshade and at the room. It may take time to have new leaves because the broad of paradise plant grow up at a slow pace, which is likely five times less compared to rubber trees and ficus trees. Please be patient until new rubs come out for us. We have many leaves after four months. The plant has been revived under sunshine, therefore the leaves get strong and the stem is short. In such a growing condition, new leaves could avoid being sunburned. It's six months after the revival treatment. The whole appearance looks better if the cracked leaves are removed now, then the revival outside would be successful at the growth phase from spring to summer. Spontaneously, by the way, I noticed just before that a damaged brood of paradise plant was successfully revived by living at a place with less sunshine here, around my greenhouse since last year. The small plant also got revived, and new rubs come out. The treatment is just spontaneously providing water. I'm very surprised at seeing this successful revival outcome because I was about to discard this plant without much care. I have sort of difficulties with revival treatment without sunshine. However, this is not the case for the bird of paradise, which can survive in the sunshade. The leaves can be thin and soft in such a dark place. Therefore, the bird of paradise may be revived at the room if you don't have space outside. If this is true, we can cut off the leaves except for one leaf during the revival procedure. Of note, Please be mindful that this process at the room would take time compared to that outside, and we will expect one year to get the complete recovery. The revival is recommended if the edge of the leaves for the broad of paradise gets brown, cured, or dripped. The leaves of the plant were cut in May and the plant gets beautifully recovered in autumn. This is just reference information in Kumamoto Prefecture in Japan, where I live, and the revival treatment period can be changed depending on where you reside. 
please take your plant back into the room to avoid cracking leaves when it's strongly windy or a typhoon comes. In addition, please check and wipe insects from the plant, which is left outside during the procedure. I will post videos later about the characteristics of the Broad of Paradise plant, including appropriate locations for them. Then, please subscribe my channel not to miss such important information. Bye bye!